I am currently looking through the footage and I look really dead. Um, this was really early in the morning for me and I just, the coffee wasn't really, really good. It wasn't strong. My mom made it and my mom likes her coffee not so strong. I like my coffee really, really strong. And I didn't got my caffeine, so I look really, really dead. And I just want to apologize for like the lack of energy. And I do not want to like delete the footage because I do give out some like really good info. But yeah, so side note, do not film in the mornings unless you're going to make your own coffee. Yeah, because like, I just look so dead. Alrighty, let's just get started to the video. Good morning, you guys. So I don't know what this video is going to be about, but I noticed that every time I film, I tend to be productive because like it pushes me and motivates me to like, hey, get it done so people don't think you're lazy. <laughs> By the way, I did got a haircut. Um, I kind of like it a little bit. The top is really, really like big. I look like a tropical bird, <laughs> but uh, <laughs> keep it spicy. No, but like, I, I, I'm supposed to be fixing it like you know like putting stuff on it so it doesn't look so like crazy as it is right now but I'm a little bit lazy and like who am I going to impress like <laughs> we're here for plants and I already have a boyfriend so like <laughs> so um, I'm, I'm just drinking my coffee <laughs> I already finished I might get my coffee and watching Garden Answer I love the fact that she posts this every single day which is why I post every single day because like she just like, she starts my mornings and I just, I love it a lot. It motivates me and I kind of want to do the same for you guys, even though like I'm not that of a motivational person. Um, <laughs> so yeah, I watch Good and Answer in my mornings and drink my cup of coffee and then just get things done throughout the house. So today I'm probably going to walk around the house and check on some plants that I need to water because I haven't watered any plants for two days already. So there's going to be some that are really, really dry. Supposedly, we're gonna have like a crazy cold front. I'm not that sure. All these weather apps are so inaccurate. Like they're so different. And like, I mean, I don't blame them. San Antonio weather is like so confusing and like bipolar. <laughs> like as in like it changes all the time. Like it's just, it makes no sense. I'm gonna bring in some of my delicate plants, like some of some calatheas that I have outdoors and um, some of my precious rare plants that I have outdoors as well. Now you might be asking why do I have them outdoors? It's because they do a lot better. You guys, if your plant is like doing not so good, like I have one right now, my crocodile are friend that my boyfriend got for me from the H-E-B and it had mold and the, it's losing leaves like crazy. So. I ended up giving it hydrogen peroxide and then I, I washed it out. I washed and then I gave it water to like drain out the hydrogen peroxide or whatever it was remaining in the soil and the leaves. And now I have it outside. Yeah, she, she's gonna bounce back. Like if you have a plant that's not doing so good, if it's like um fungus nets or if it's mold or um fungus, just pour some hydrogen peroxide, dilute it. I don't usually dilute mine, but if you want to be safe, it's recommended to have to dilute your, fertil your fertilizer. <laughs> have to dilute your hydrogen peroxide, and then you put it on your baby plants, um, and then you water it again. And yeah, and just place it outside in the shade where it doesn't get direct light because yeah, that plant probably isn't hardened, so it's gonna get scorched. Um, Some of my like low light plants, they're literally getting like direct sunlight, and that's because they're really hardened. But yes, so place your girly outside, and I promise you, she will bounce back. If well, I can't really say because we all have different environments, but if you live in Texas, then you can do that. Um, you can, I don't know, <laughs> just have like good weather outside, like warm and humid. Alrighty, so I'm gonna get my tripod and I guess we can just walk around and see the plants that need to like, you know, water. Before we start, I want to show you guys this beautiful pepperoni. She is dusty, is she? I'm not even sure. As you guys can see, look at this new little leaves popping up on there. So cute. Oh my god, they're so adorable. Ugh. So adorable. I just, I can't. Oh. <laughs> and the mother of a thousand. I want to propagate some, but I don't know how to propagate. Because they're so small. Oh, that one looks like it's good to propagate. I do want to give it a uh, a terracotta pot because like I feel like it will appreciate a nice terracotta pot, but not right now. Soon, but not right now. But I guess I'll just take you guys along. Uh. Okay, so we're gonna use a tripod and like the lighting is so bad. Hold on, give me a second. So we're gonna go tie these girlies up and I already see a plant that needs water. So we're gonna go and do that. I really don't want to show this side. Like I don't want to like I try to always perfect my videos. And like show like the good and not like the bad, but honestly, it's getting a little bit harder, considering the fact that I upload every single day, and it's getting a little bit hard to like, you know, be perfect and always show like the good. 
and in reality there's a lot of bad stuff going around like as in like not like you know I'm, I'm fine i'm fine but like on my plants and like the aesthetics and like there's cat hairs everywhere <laughs> It sucks. But I do love my kitty. So this is a Cervelli Potos that I can already tell is like lightweight. Lightweight, oh my god. That it needs a water watering, a good session of bottom watering. Because like she's really, really light. And as you notice, the leaves start to curl. This so is the perfect example. What happens when it's thirsty? Um, but if it's moist and it's wet and it's doing this, then that means you're gonna root rot. And I suggest for you to do some research on how to treat root rot. The way I treat it is with hydrogen peroxide and then I leave it outdoors to let it cure and just get a boost. And if it's like not an out, I won't put a plant in winter. But like if it's like in summer or spring or sometimes fall, I will put my plants outside and they really, really do seem to benefit. Look at this leaf. Oh my god. I'm telling you, like. I don't know, I'm really really bad at like watering my plants you guys But like I don't really think they care that much As long as I like soak their entire soil So Fetonias, I tend to like really like underwater This is a Fetonia and this is other a beautiful, another Fetonia Oh my god, it has a spider web And they're also called nerve plants And what I was talking about is some of these plants like to have their soil really really moist And not wet, but moist and if you don't You know, they tend to lose a lot of leaves like this one they were sure it just it was gonna die because i forgot to water it and she was not being patient with me so what i do now also this one as well it was gonna die i'm just putting them like in little containers that don't have holes so like obviously this is a pot i pop the little plant in this pot without without drainage holes and i pour in some water and i just leave it like that for like a week and i think the last time i watered this was like almost like 10 days or maybe 15 days so i need to water them so it works and they don't seem to bother that much. It's really confusing because like somebody say like it's gonna get root rot, but you guys, everybody's environment is different. Everybody's climate is different. Everybody's plants are different. The potting mix that you use, the lighting that you're getting, the fertilizer that you use, the like the temperature, like everything really, really does matter. So it's really hard to say like, oh, that's gonna get root rot, but that's, that's not gonna work out. If it works for that person, perfect, but that's it's gonna work for me. I don't know if that made any sense. Okay, so now we're gonna go and check on the other plants and I guess I'll flip the camera. I'm going to do a time lapse and I'll see you guys in a bit. Alrighty, so these are all the plants that, well, there's a lot more that need water. These are all the plants that I just got that needs a good soak of bottom watering. Um, the only issue that I noticed is that I cannot find my watering trays. <sighs> I don't know who was getting the watering trays, but I don't. I can't find them. So, what I might need to do, which is it's okay, what I might need to do is put them outside <clears throat> and water them with the watering hose, like basically top watering. I hate top watering because then I gotta water them again like a week later. As if I bottom water, they can last for like two or three weeks without watering, but. It's okay, and also like they get water stains, which is so annoying to clean. We have a lot of plants, but it's also, it's okay. Everything's going to be okay. So, I'm still debating if I should just wait for my brother to wake up so I can ask him where he placed them, because he's always like moving stuff around, or if I should just go outside and like, you know, get the watering hose and just water them. I'm still not sure what to do, but I do want to show you guys something. This is Valentina. She has become an outdoor cat, but she comes inside to like, you know, eat. I do feed her, but she likes Nikos' food, so she likes to come back inside. You guys, look at this monstera leaf. Like, look at this new leaf. Do you see this? Oh my God, it's so big. Oh, I wanna give it some fertilizer. Look at this humongous leaf. It's so stunning and beautiful. Yay! <laughs> Alrighty guys, so I just finished taking a coffee break. So right now I wanna end up getting basically how you see this window organized i want to do the same thing over here with the hooks because like i uh, let me show you guys hold on okay <laughs> on this side we have thumbtacks i think that's how you call it holding the plants which is 
it works but it's kind of scary and like yeah so what i ended up doing a while back i got these hooks from walmart these and now it's a lot better i place one in that section of the window and then i put three on the big side <laughs> and then i put another one over here but you guys cannot really see the plants because well i'm bottom watering it right now so i want to do the same thing over here and take off those thumbtacks and put some hooks so yeah Alrighty guys, so I wasn't able to use the hooks on all of it because it turns out this is Sherlock and when you put it, it just stands, it just, where is it? Yeah, it doesn't work. <laughs> I think this side has like a wooden piece, but over here it has Sherlock, so very interesting. Anyways, I, I was only able to use it on this one and this one as well. It is a little bit loose, but it's, I think it's able to hold, you know, like a plant. Um, but yeah, I ended up placing back the thumbtacks because it works. <laughs> as long as nobody like messes with it, then it's totally fine. And yeah, so bummer, but it's fine. So I decided to propagate some uh, lemon lime maranta and the red maranta. I have two cuttings of each and I think it's going to be like a really fun experiment on how it's going to look. Like the, you know, the different colors, two different plants in one pot. That'll be fun. And I just ended up, ended up finishing repotting this Fetonia, aka Nerf plant, in this pot. It has a really small hole that my brother just drilled. And I feel like it'll like it because I know they love to have their soil really, really moist but not wet. And this drain a hole to the bottom is going to make sure that it's not going to be drowning in water. So I feel like it'll be a lot happier. And I just love like the contrast. The white and the green looks really good with the white. And then this brownish it looks brown but it's like red and pinkish looks really good with the brown i don't know i like it a lot and i'm also propagating some angel wing begonia or pocket dot begonia no it's called a pocket dot begonia and i did three cuttings in this one really really pretty pot so, uh, yeah I'm gonna, I'm gonna place these two cuttings in the porch in the front because i put in the back my chickens are gonna eat them and the reason why i'm gonna put it outside instead of inside is because it's really warm outside and I feel like it will appreciate the humidity and the warm soil instead of if it was inside. You know, to speed up the process and like the success of it propagating. This is my first time propagating some pocket dot begonia. And I wonder if it's going to work. But I think it looks so, so pretty. And yeah. Hey guys, so it is really late at night. I just finished editing the entire video and there was no ending. So this is going to be the ending and the thing is crooked. Great, it's not straight. Alrighty, so I guess I can end it with a mini, very small plant haul. I ended up going to my local grocery store, H-E-B, and I bought this beautiful begonia. As you guys can see, it has such stunning leaves. It has like a dust frosted look, and I love it a lot. The stems are also really, really pretty. It has a little bit of like sad leaves. But they're like the bottom leaves, which is normal. Yeah, begonias and I were not really that good. But I do have some that I can show you guys in a bit in another video. My chickens ended up demolishing those begonias. Like, I think it's like 10 begonias in 4-inch pots and they're all different varieties. They were so beautiful, but my chickens ate all of them. So right now I have them in the grill lights and they are recovering. And I'm noticing, like I'm trying, I have like a yes and not to have a relationship with those begonias like they do amazing and then sometimes they just don't so i'm still learning on how to take care of these beautiful foliage plants aka begonias um but yeah it's really really pretty and 
I, I don't know. I just, I liked it a lot. Alrighty, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. Sorry if I'm speaking really, really, like, low. It's because, like I said, some people are sleeping already and I don't want to be too loud. Also, the lighting is really, really bad. But I am ordering some studio lights. They should be coming in the mail within two days. So, that's going to improve my quality a little bit. And, yeah. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.